Hi, welcome on to Arsenal Fan TV, brought to you today in association with OneFootball, the excellent football app. Don't forget you can download it. The link is in the description. Um, always, as I always say, a good app to have, especially on a match day. You get all the lineups, everything like that. Um, one person that's going to be missing from that lineup this week when we play against Watford is Squadron Mustafi. Injured um, whilst playing for Germany, he's torn some ligaments and... Um, we don't know the full prognosis yet, but it looks like he's going to be missing from the Arsenal lineup now until at least mid-November. I mean, after the next international break. And that is a, a big, big blow to Arsenal. Um, if you look at it defensively, you know, we've been doing pretty well recently. We haven't conceded a goal uh, since that infamous game against Liverpool where we got battered 4-0. And uh, one of the reasons for that has been Mustafi. He's been pretty solid in there. He's been organising, um, been doing well for Germany as well. And uh, it really is a big blow to the stability of that defence. And of course, just before we went to the international break, Koscielny was out as well. He got injured, you know, always seems to get injured, this guy. Good player, but um, he's suffered a reoccurrence of his Achilles injury. I'm hoping, and I'm sure that you guys were hoping that he will be back um, you know, for the game against Watford. But at the moment, we seem to have a little bit of a defensive crisis in that our best defenders are missing. Now, if we are, say, for instance, this week without Koscielny and Mustafi, that then means that it's going to be, what, a choice of holding Chambers. Remember, he's out, right? We haven't seen him. Um, you know, I think it was one game he's played and then he's been off as well. So he's out as well. So basically holding and Mertesacker, and, um, you know, one guy very experienced, but we all know his, um, you know, the, the misgivings with him, that he's very slow, and the other guy um, holding an up-and-coming player who did really well towards the end of last season, did, had that brilliant FA Cup final, but um, he was in the defence and looked very poor when we got slapped up by Liverpool 4-0. Um, and it is a worry. We've got games coming up against Watford, against Everton, uh, Man City. All those games Mustafi will be missing for. So, you know, it's not good. It's not a good situation at the moment for Arsenal defensively. And as I said, you know, we've been keeping clean sheets recently, which is not something you associate much with Arsenal. So it's really come at a bad time that Mustafi's uh, got this injury. So what will we do for these games? Do we persist... With the three at the back, um, which is what Arsene Wenger's been playing, um, which then means, as I said, that you have, you, you, what, you'd have the three of, say, uh, Holding, uh, Mertesacker in the middle, and then uh, Monreal on the left. Didn't really work when I've seen it in previous games. Um, you know, I'm not really sure about that, you know, three at the back with those players in it. I think maybe what Arsenal may need to have to do is, you know, just go back to a back four until we get back the players that we want to play in that system. Let, let, let's, let's assume that Koscielny's fit, right? So if Koscielny's fit, for me, I would rather see a back four of, you know, Bellerin, uh, Holding, or Mertesacker, Koscielny, and then Monreal, um, on that left-hand side or Kolasinac or whoever you're going to put in there. But for me, I don't know, man. It just didn't seem to work for me when I've seen both Mertesacker and Holding in that three. It just doesn't seem to work for me. Um, will Arsene Wenger be flexible? Will he change? Who knows? But it is a little bit of a defensive crisis at the moment, particularly, as I said, if Koscielny as well um, is injured. So it's all going to be down to Arsene Wenger. What is he going to do? What is he going to decide on doing... Um, it's going to be a bit of a um, dilemma for him. Remember, uh, up against Watford this weekend, away from home. I know we've got a great record there. I know Man City went there and beat them 6-0. But Watford have been playing some good stuff so far this season. That will not be an easy game. Remember, they beat us at the Emirates last season. And they will be very confident that, you know, come after this international break with us missing Mustafi, that they might be able to get at us. So it's not going to be an easy game. What will Wenger do? Will Wenger even consider maybe playing um, El Nenny at the back? Remember, um, in a lot of the friendlies uh, leading into the season, he tried that. Or will he put Monreal, you know, into that? You know, into you know, he could play a four across the back, and maybe say have uh, 
Monreal, uh, Mertesaka or Koscielny, whichever, if, if he's fit, Bellerin, Kolasinac. He could even play a free and have Monreal down, a, you know, playing as a centre-half, Kolasinac holding. I, I don't know. I don't know. For me, I'd go, if those two, Koscielny and Mustafi are missing, for me, we need to go back to a back four. But let's see what Arsene Wenger does. Bit of a defensive crisis. What do you guys think? Is this, a re is this the reason why we should have went out in the summer and bought in a centre-half? I mean, you know, we sold Gabriel. You know, we seem to be trying to offload centre-halves. We know Mertesacker's leaving at the end of the season, going to take up a coaching role at the club. Should have Arsenal gone out in the summer, went big, tried to get somebody like a Van Dijk in because, you know, Koscielny, lots of injuries. Mustafi was injured for a big portion of the season last year. Chambers, we were trying to get rid of him. Now he's injured. We're relying on Mertesacker, who, as I said, is coming towards the end of his career, and Rob Holding, who's just starting his. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to download the excellent football app, OneFootball. Link, as I said, is in the description. Thanks for watching the show. Looking forward to the game at the weekend.